What's going on guys, Vic VP here. On this one today, we're gonna to be putting the final touches on my Roller Coaster Tycoon by Stern with an unboxing and tutorial on installing a Pin 2 DMD from Retro City Pinball. Let's take a look. All right, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Linktree link down below is just very convenient for you. You go there, you click on it, you'll see all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Be sure to also subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think of the Pin 2 DMD. I get a lot of requests for tutorials and I figured why not this kit is plug and play so it should be pretty quick i think it's about like a 30 minute install if it's like my wf royal rumble it was fairly easy to do now real quick take a look at the lineup here i am proud to say each of these machines these three machines i did a total tear down i mean removed mechs removed posts deep cleaned waxed play fields polished metal polished wire forms it has been an amazing journey. Ramps did some flame polishing with ramps. It's been an awesome time. It looks great. Uh, again, LED conversions as well on this. New rubbers from Titan. LEDs from Comet Pinball. Uh, using some very popular promo codes from podcasters like Buffalo Pinball and such. Amazing. I. Uh, I can't wait. This is really the final touch that Roller Coaster Tycoon needs. And uh, probably by next week, these will be going down to the basement. I'm not 100% sure yet on Earthshaker though. We'll talk about that in another video. Let's unbox this Pin 2 DMD from Retro City. Now, if you guys don't know, my Royal Rumble does have a Pin 2 DMD. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I love the Pin 2 DMD, mostly for the price. At $260 landed, I have a full plug and play kit. It just changes the game. Seeing a game like this with its original like orange DMD, changing it over to color DMD, it's, it's a must. And again, at a $260 price tag, it's a no brainer. Now I've been in contact with Andrew over at Retro City. Awesome dude. He has put me in the Royal Rumble beta uh, he's been sending me files back and forth. He doesn't have a Royal Rumble. His Royal Rumble is still in beta testing, but I basically made a couple of comments and he's been fixing it as we go. The biggest thing with Royal Rumble was that we did not have the diagnostics menu. He then sent it to me and he was like, hey Vic, can you test it? And sure enough, the diagnostics menu is there. So it's kind of cool to learn that. I guess I'm kind of a beta tester. All in all, Andrew is an awesome person to deal with. He's very quick on the emails. He is pretty busy though. He messaged me saying that he's got like some like pin fest uh, event happening. So he's getting a bunch of supplies ready. Um, I did mention to him that I did want to make like a promo code for myself uh, because the views for Royal Rumble were there and there was comments and people were saying about the diagnostics issue. So uh, I did say to Andrew, hey, let's make a promo code, but he got busy and that's a-okay. At the time of shooting, there was no promo code for this. I paid 260 bucks. I believe it's 225 for the whole plug and play kit. And then I think it was like $40 to ship. Again, at $206, including the shipping, again, when I did Royal Rumble, it was free shipping was the promo. I didn't have any promo with this. It is still a no brainer. $260 for a complete plug and play kit. It's like a must, you gotta do it. Now it's funny when this landed to me, there was a 10% promo code, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask Andrew for that. That's kind of silly. At 260 bucks, I'm very happy. Let's unbox this and let's get Roller Coaster Tycoon completed today. So let's first take a look what was in the box. Amazing packaging. This is new. Uh, originally it came in like a brown box. It, it comes in a brown box, but like. The Royal Rumble was just like a, a brown box. This is like a pretty nice setup here. Also looks like he sent me a new like DMD bracket. Oh, he sent me new glass and everything too. Like a new plexiglass. Wow. 
cool. And then he does also give you the instruction manual. I, like I said, when I did the Royal Rumble, I was like, how do you install this? There's no instructions on the website. And then I discovered that he basically sends you this one right here, for example, is a 14 page instruction manual. Cool. All right, I opened it up, look at that. There's your beautiful pin to DMD. But as I just read the instructions real quick, we have to actually lift up the play field. It gives you a power cord that needs to be ran down underneath the play field close to the coin door. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but shouldn't be that difficult. A couple of things going on here. We have a pin to DMD power input, auxiliary cable, and he also gave us a couple of uh, bottle openers like last time. All right, let's do it. Now again, he does have detailed instructions with photos, so there's no need to worry. Um, again, we're going right here where the coin door is. It's basically like the service power. Uh, definitely make sure your machine is off. And uh, with Stearns, which I learned the hard way, uh, be sure you remove the balls. That's like the number one thing, uh, remove the balls. So we're here in the machine, it has here cabinet auxiliary input. And as you can see right here, just like the picture shows, I do have this auxiliary input right there. It does say if there is something already here, they also do supply you a splitter. So that is awesome. And we basically now take this, we're gonna run it nice and neat. We're not gonna you know, do any shortcuts. And we just gotta run this to the back box. Easy. All right, so far so good. Ran the cable, it does suggest to run it up through the center hole of the back box. Now I have the speaker panel off and down. Being a woodworker, I do have these clamps here. This is probably the best way to hold down like the DMD so it doesn't start sliding around. Then it does want you to remove a couple of cables. And again, it's all in the pictures. We removed the original power cable for the display, the 14 pin, the 26 pin ribbon, and the original DMD PCB power cable. Uh, next step, I believe, we're gonna start removing some screws. Yep, we're gonna start taking out five screws. Always a good idea to have one of these metal dishes handy. We had to take five specific screws out. And what's great with this is that it is magnetic. You can't see it, but it's on the apron right now. Uh, basically wanted me to take out the five screws that are holding this metal plate in. And again, we'll be very careful as we dissect. Looks like I need one more screw to remove. And that is this one here. It's not in the picture, but that should be A-OK. -okay. Again, we are right now removing five screws to take out this metal plate. All right, got the metal plate off with this board. I had one pesky screw, but needle nose pliers solve that. Next, we have to remove this 14 pin ribbon cable, but we gotta keep it aside. So we got this little ribbon. We're gonna keep that aside. And now we have to remove eight screws. Uh, that's basically these bracket screws. So far, so good, this is easy. All right, eight screws removed. Basically, this whole bracket comes out with the original DMD attached. We now have to take out these four screws because it looks like we're gonna be reusing this bracket. Easy so far. All right, so brackets are removed. Just wanna be careful because some of them have like standoffs and a couple of plastic washers, at least on Rollercoaster Tycoon. So be sure to you know, keep that. Now they want us to put the brackets back but without any DMD attached. I'm gonna take a quick step though that they do not have here in the manual. And we are going, yeah, I just wanna make sure it's not here. It's not here. Uh, so I'm on step 20 right now where they want us to put the brackets back. Doesn't mention anything about replacing the plexiglass. And they did, they did send me new plexiglass. So I'm gonna take that step now, remove the plexiglass, and then we'll add the brackets. All right, cool, it took about 10 minutes to knock that out. I got the brackets back in. Uh, actually, they don't want you to put the posts in like how it originally came out. So don't do that just yet. Got the brackets in with the screws, but I am noticing in the manual again, it didn't mention anything about the plexiglass and it's also not mentioning anything about this right here, this little styrofoam bezel. So luckily with being kind of an arcade builder and you kind of see like the attention to detail before stuff happens, I'm gonna put the styrofoam bezel on the DMD before I put it in. We're basically ready. We're gonna make sure the pin to DMD logo is basically gonna be upside down. Should be pointing inwards to the back box. Again, that's depending on how you have the speaker panel. 
Let's put it in. All right, can I put in the styrofoam good, perfectly? Because I'm very, uh, I'm very like anal about that. Uh, that took me about another 10 minutes, but it's in and it looks great. We put the four posts in on the corners and now we get ready to connect some cables. All right, cool. So two cables get plugged in here at this point. We have that 14 pin ribbon cable. It's kind of small that gets plugged in. Make sure the red line is closer to the center. And then you have here from the new cable they send, it is labeled pin to DMD power input that goes into the four, uh, four pin Molex. And now we're going to bring back that metal plate right on top. All right, cool, I got all the screws back, even the grounding straps and such. 14 pin ribbon cable with the red on the left. I got the 24 pin ribbon cable with the red to the right. Uh, and it does say here for white star only, uh, be sure that we are putting back the original power cable here. So that is there. Uh, I'll be honest, the only thing I am seeing, uh, I do have from the cable that we installed, I do have here an ACC power. Um, I don't see it in the pictures. I don't see it anywhere connected. So for right now, I am going to leave this out. It is kind of tempting because, oh no, this pin right here, this J4 is not even four pin Molex. So no, that technically should be it. So if I go right now and flip the power, we should have uh, our pin two DMD. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Oh. We got yellow. I'm anxious to see like the roller coaster tycoon logo. And again, definitely you would want to put that um, gasket. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, my high score number four, I didn't put a name, so it is just blank. That's not a pin to DMD issue. That looks awesome. That looks great. Beautiful. Free play. I just want to see the roller coaster tycoon logo, and then I will be completely satisfied. Look at the hand on that. There's the Stern logo. There you go. Love it. Yes, yes, <laughs> not too bad. Uh, I don't know, what was that? Maybe like a 30 to 40 minute job? Awesome, but anytime, especially when I learned with Royal Rumble, uh, before I'm gonna seal the deal, I do like to go ahead and uh, bump up the brightness. I always like to do that. Uh, you might as well bump up the brightness. Um, this right now, we'll see it, what the stock level is. Um, Yes, let's read the instructions to enter settings. Make sure the pin to DMD is on. Hold down button one and press the reset button. All right, let's bring this down. Hold down button one and hit the reset button. We are in the config menu. Do, 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 do. From here, you can navigate by pressing button one. Cool. So brightness and then button two is to enter. Let's make sure I'm gonna do button two. Awesome. Let's see, how do we scroll? Button two, make sure to save. Okay. Oop, I hit the wrong button. So brightness. Oh, I hit the reset by accident. I hit the other wrong button. <laughs> Leave it to me. Yes. All right. Button two and the reset again. Sorry. I'm wasting time. Good. Brightness. Oh, okay, cool. So it's button two is to adjust the brightness. Look at that. I don't want to go too crazy bright, but let's see. So one, that's number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's really 24. Uh, 24, 24 divided by two is 12. So let's see what the, the middle brightness is. So one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I feel like 12, what they always say is they send that as like default, so that's 50%. I'm gonna go, I'll go there. There you go. I don't really touch anything else here. Uh, there was an option there to save the config. I should do that. If I have patience. <laughs> so 
So save config, saved. And that is it. Pin to DMD officially done and complete. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I want to press start. <laughs> So if you've been watching, you might be seeing what I did to the back box here. Yes, I did an LED strip conversion. Be sure to stay tuned with the final video because this was the missing link, the final piece of the puzzle. Look at that. Taking out that fluorescent tube was a thing of beauty. Had to do some modifying, which wasn't awful, but yes, now that LED strip, cool white. Let's go. I want to press start. All right, we got the lights off. I'm excited to get some gameplay footage of this. Look at that Stern logo. Look at the red. Uh, I just want to see like what the multi bowl looks like. Let's go. We're going to press start and hopefully get some good gameplay footage. We got, <laughs> we got the mode. Dancing digits, that's fine. Oh, if I could get that rocket. Chicago Loop. Dancing Digits is the standoff. You got the Chicago Loop. There's your flying turns. Flying turns testing. Oh, I needed one more. Oh, we got at least. Oh! See, let's see. Ah, <laughs> that's so cool. The animation looks great on that. Uh, not enough though for ball one lot. Oh, it is enough. Cool. Okay. You just have to complete a ride. Got another one. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, multi ball is lit. We got a stand. Let's see. I did not get a stand actually. No, I'm sorry. Oh, map. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, 300 guests. Hell yeah. Nice. Fun mode is lit. Trying to get the multi ball. That's what we want. No. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's okay. It's okay. We still, have, we still have opportunity for multi ball. It's okay. We got to adjust the tilt on this. Let's see. I shook the table hard. Oh, we're going to start a mode. That's all right, dunk the dummy. It's time to <laughs> I like that. <laughs> this mode's brutal because he just makes fun of you. He just like mocks you. Good stuff, we got that. Good stuff. Great, look at the bumper cars. Oh, we got the stands. Oh, that looks great. Oh, sorry, we got another stand. Almost lost it. Come on. We need multi ball. Should be it. There you go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Oh man, that is awesome. That looks great. Try to get some jackpots on this. Let's see what the jackpots look like. <laughs> look at that. One more. I think I have to go. Scrambled eggs is open now. Oh, I lost the ball. Oh, we need the we need the, the rocket. Oh no! It took me out. That looked awesome. Oh, what a thing of beauty! Cotton candy. Oh. Got the ghost. Candy man, there you go. I'm gonna start another mode. Nope. Awesome. This looks great. This is awesome. Whoa. 
Look at the little animation of the guest. There's actually a ticket in the guy's hand, like waving. <laughs> Awesome. I got everything I wanted to see out of that. Beautiful. Now it's just to show you, yes, diagnostics, service menus and such, it does work beautifully. Awesome. Well, there you guys have it. Shout out to Retro City, Pin2 DMD plug and play kit. It's officially installed. It looks amazing. Shout out to Andrew, he's always trying to update coding and all that. Again, keep in mind, I did pay in full for this. This isn't sponsored or anything. I was very happy with the Royal Rumble conversion and I knew I had to do it for Roller Coaster Tycoon. What a thing of beauty. Again, be sure to stay tuned as I have a final video showing off all the little mods and stuff that I did to my Roller Coaster Tycoon before it goes down into the basement. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades. Be a tycoon! Yes!